Hello, my friends, and welcome to Mystery Tech. This, why? I mean, I feel like I'm in the thumbnail right now. This is from Norway. Wait, wait, did someone just send us this? That was a P.O. Box item. P.O. Box, you're not even doing, oh, you're not even doing work right now. Well, at least it's got a lot of bubble wrap in it. Oh, so this has been sitting around for like four months. It's been sitting here for four months? So if what it's if food, it, oh no. It. Oh, what is it's that? It's popcorn. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, really? No. No. Really? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's gross. Oh no. Oh, there's something else wrapped right here. Maybe I shouldn't have had that out before. <laughs> I like how you were saying that as a joke, but it actually was food. More things? Oh, there's more food too. We've got Vapisabol uh, drops, milk and soldier. You guys have too many letters, man. Just chill with the letters. We also have more popcorn. So if we wanna make some more popcorn, as if we don't have enough already, and another package to be uh, unwrapped. Just gonna keep going here. Oh, it's fun. You just put your phone in it, and you watch videos. Wow, okay. That's, whoa. Oh, so it's like room for your phone and stuff? Do I look ridiculous right now? A little bit. All right, uh, that, that looks okay, right? Wait, now I've got backwards. <laughs> Isolation. Never mind. No timekeeping devices, no phones, no books, nothing to write on. Uh... I will say this is actually better than I thought. So the way this works is actually pretty clever. The lenses are nice and when you put it on, it actually does feel like you're looking at your phone full size, especially if you have a phone with a fairly high resolution like the iPhone or the OnePlus. It actually does look pretty decent. How much is this thing? $89. $89 on Indiegogo? Mm-mm. Nope. That was the early pricing. This is interesting. This is not $89 interesting. It's a cool idea. Um, but 89 bucks? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Let's move on, shall we? Yes. Okay. Anime Music Wireless, you sick, sick son of a bitch. What makes these anime? I don't understand. It's designed by Shiro Masamuni. How long have you been sitting on this? A year. A year? Ken, is this the recycled mystery tech? Uh, why are these anime? I just don't get why these are anime. They're white? Is that like an anime like color? I, I, don't, I don't get it. I think Japanese corporate was like, yeah, people will buy it if it has anime on it. I mean, you bought it, so it worked. Powered by AppDex, okay. So AppDex works. I'm about to go into the anime vortex. I really hope Josh is nice and put, give me some like, cool graphics when I say things like that. Let's do this one. Well. All I can think about is you with glow sticks at some like anime rave and like doing the doing like some crowd dance or something as everyone cries about how amazing the music is. That's all I can wow, think about right now. Wow, that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you actually described that pretty well. I've known you for too long, my friend. Uh, these headphones don't sound good, but Ken sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know, these are kind of trash. Have you ever watched Drake and Josh? Drake and Josh? Uh, a couple episodes, I wasn't, I feel like I was like slightly too old for it. Okay, bullshit. No one's ever too old for Jake and Josh, but. Well, that's a questionable decision. Memorex. I don't get this reference at all, but okay. You might not get it, but a lot of people will get it. 
What is this? Spherical. Spherical. Okay. I assume this is a CD player from Drake and Josh. It's the Game Sphere. It says the Sphere Boom Ball. It's a Game Sphere. I feel like this is some meme I just don't get, and now I'm just gonna look dumb. Okay, I, I brought the cavalry. Hello, everyone. It's Here. spherical! Spherical! It's spherical! What are you idiots doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing mystery tech, and everyone shut up and start yelling Drake and Josh references. So you actually haven't have heard of this? I've never heard of this. It just looks like some stupid boombox. It was like the GameCube before the GameCube. Game? The Game Sphere instead of the GameCube? I, I think it was like pretty much a knockoff of the GameCube. They made the Game oh. Sphere. Oh, and it's I'm just this thing? Yeah, I think that was like kind of the idea when oh. they made a Game Sphere. I mean, you obviously got this as new old stock. How much was the Sphere Boom Ball? $100. For an old CD player? Oh, it's for an old game console. It's not, it doesn't play games. It doesn't have to. Ooh, that's kind of cool. What is cool about this? It's like a helmet. Look at that. Dude, it's too many. Yeah. There's too many pieces. That's great. Is this money in the grave mixed with with little John? Wait, what? Doesn't look like it's gonna spin. Wait, what if it play? I'll play. What is up with this? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that a spherical CD player was a bad idea 17 years later? No. Oh, maybe, maybe it was. Yours the CD player is older than most people watching this video. Oh yeah, they don't probably know what. This, okay, so if you're not familiar with what this was supposed to do, imagine Spotify except you had to buy physical discs and put them in a sphere and then you can play it track by track but you can only play like one album at a time. Very archaic technology, I know. But this is what Ken grew up with, so the game sphere it is. Gotta say, it's not looking too good for this mystery tech right now. Oh, wait till you see what I got. I mean, I've seen a lot of trash. Anime headphones and a stupid game sphere. It's not stupid. Oh, something that's actually cool. So this, my friends, is the Sega Genesis Mini as well as, <gasps> wait, all the, the, the tower? The, 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 the tower? Oh, this is cool. The Genesis Mini is very much in the same sort of style as something like the NES or the SNES Classic in that you have a ton of games pre-installed. It works via HDMI. However, this, this is what I'm really excited about. Ooh, dude. The little switches work, what? Dude, all the buttons are like real buttons. That is so cool. So it's one of the things I don't like about the Nintendo consoles and even something like the PS Classic. And that, I mean, look at the little attention to detail. I mean, this Switch, I doubt does anything, but it feels just like the original. You got a reset switch, you got on and off. This is really nicely done. So if you guys are not familiar with the Genesis, this was a console back in the late 80s, early 90s. And one of the cool parts about it is that it had a very long lifespan, which meant that it got several major upgrades, including the Sega CD, which included CD functionality, as well as the Sega 32X, which you can almost think of as like a, like a, an Xbox One X compared to the One, except instead of buying a new console, it was an add-on. So theoretically, all of these things would work together, which would mean that you could play Genesis games, you could play 32X games, and Sega CD games, all with one of the most ridiculous looking towers that have ever graced anyone's living rooms. There you go. That was a real thing that you could buy in 1993. Now it's, uh, it's small, and uh, it doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. All right, would you care to play some Virtual Fighter with me? Sure. All right. Let's do it. Get up, get up. Wow. It's pretty, uh... That's not good. Get out of here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you know that Sega soundbite is like one-fourth of, uh, of the cartridge size? Really? Yeah. This thing is really rad, right? I mean, the fact that they've done what seems to be a very good job with the emulation, pretty solid game selection. I love this hardware. The fact that you get a Tower of Power, even though I'm not even sure if you can actually buy that here in the States, but I mean, this thing is legit. I would say good job, but you didn't buy this, did you? 
No, I didn't. Thanks, Sega. Wait, no. <laughs> you can't do that! It touched the table! <laughs> what you give me? You no, 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 I want the other thing back. What do you give me bread for? I see you. You can't edit your way out of this one because you grabbed the wrong item. A toaster? Is this just a Japanese toaster? Not just any Japanese toaster, it is the Japanese. What is wrong with this episode? Is this the Ken Gives Up episode? It's just a toaster. It's not just a It's a toaster. This is it? Oh, okay. So, this toaster is very famous or infamous. Okay. For only toasting one slice at a time. <laughs> no. To Wait. Make the perfect slice of toast. How much was this amazing Japanese toaster? After import, it was four hundred fifty dollars. To toast one piece at a time. <laughs> There's been a lot of dumb things on Mystery Tech. There's been a lot of money wasted. But $450 for a toaster that toasts one side of the bread? One piece at a time? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. All right. I'm ready to toast my stale bread. Now I'm medium toasted. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, four, five, six, eight. Uh, six. And then it's, uh, it's normal. Okay, start. Akihiro Iwahara of Mitsubishi said they wanted to focus on a single slice and treat it with respect. Incredible. Exquisite, some might say. I'll be the judge of that. Pretty good toast. <laughs> I've never had toast that tastes this good. It's just for audio, don't use a video of that. I'm just trying to get a really good clean crunch for a transition. Here you go, my friend. Ooh. It's very warm. It is very warm. It's not overly. No. Oh my god. <laughs> pretty good, right? <laughs> 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 that is really well done. It's even, what the hell? I'm gonna say if you wanna get any beer all this, I'm gonna take this home tonight. <laughs> That's really good, right? I, mean, I would hope so for a $300 toaster.